I wanted to share with you another great hymn of our church. This one is called, There is a Fountain. And we often sing it at New Hope uh, as we celebrate and participate in communion together. There is a Fountain was written by William Cooper. William Cooper is a name highly respected in English classic literary circles. He is viewed by some as one of the finest of all English writers. Several of his best-known secular works include a translation of Homer, a widely acclaimed volume of poems entitled The Task, along with his most famous literary poem, John Gilpin. Cooper was born in Great Berkhamsted, England on November 15, 1731. His father was an English clergyman, while his mother was from a well-known family of royalty. Throughout his childhood, Cooper was physically frail and emotionally sensitive. Contributing to his instability was the death of his mother when he was only six years old. At an early age, he was directed by his father to study law. Upon completing uh, his studies, however, the prospect of appearing for his final examination before the bar so frightened him that it caused a mental breakdown. Later, he was placed in an asylum for a period of 18 months. During this detention, he one day read from the scriptures, the passage in Romans chapter 3, verse 25, that Jesus Christ is, quote, set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God, end quote. Through his reading of the Bible, Cooper soon realized a personal relationship with Christ and a sense of forgiveness of sin. This was in 1764 when he was 33 years old. After his conversion and mental recovery, Cooper made friends with the family of the Reverend Morley Unwin, who were a great help to him. In fact, Mrs. Unwin remained his devoted friend and guardian till the end of her days. After Reverend Unwin's death in 1767, just three years later, John Newton, the converted slave ship captain and author of Amazing Grace, persuaded Mrs. Unwin and her family, along with William Cooper, to move to only England, where Newton pastored the parish Anglican Church. It was here for nearly two decades that Newton and Cooper had a close personal friendship, and eventually, in 1799, their combined talents produced the famous Only Hymns Hymnal, one of the most important single contributions made to the field of evangelical hymnody. In this ambitious collection of 349 hymns, 67 were written by Cooper, with the remainder by Newton. There is a Fountain was originally entitled Peace for the Fountain Opened. It is undoubtedly one of Cooper's best-loved hymns. Only eternity will reveal the hosts who, through the singing of this hymn, have been made aware of the efficacy of Christ's complete atonement. The text, with its vivid imagery, is based on the Old Testament text, Zechariah 13, verse 1. Quote, In that day there shall be a fountain opened to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and uncleanness, end quote. The tune for this text is borrowed from an American folk melody. Throughout his life, Cooper continued to be plagued by periodic depression. Yet despite William Cooper's physical and emotional frailties, God endued him with extraordinary literary talents to enrich the lives of Christian people for more than two centuries. Would you sing with me this great hymn of the church, There is a Fountain. blood. 